So you guys don't think you should have to clean any of this up? Gerilyn, do you think they realize when they waste their food like this, it makes you feel bad? I feel bad. And Janitor Harley, do you think they realize when they make a mess in the cafeteria, it makes you feel bad? I actually feel I deserve what I get. But I have all kinds of different issues. Wow. That's the worst elective in the school besides janitorial services. Oh. How you doing, boys I own? Meet Mr. Mott and his pal, Mr. Bucket. First, you'll clean Mr. Mess in the cafeteria. Then I'll introduce you to the always delightful Mr. Vomit. Thank you, but I have enough friends. I don't understand any of this. Yeah, I never think of these hallways as being anything but clean. Thank you. There are two types of custodians, the ninja and the showboat. I, Janitor Harley Kiner, am a ninja. <laughs> Me, you never see coming. You just know I've been there. How much throw up can there possibly be in a school? Well, each student has a stomach about yay big. Yet they think they can eat about yay much. <laughs> Alvin Burgess. You can actually tell who that is? I know all of you. Alvin's a seventh grader. He has a speech in English today. He seems unprepared. <laughs> I got this. Does that happen a lot? <laughs> it happens all the time. It's my job. We got the school so clean yesterday, today was the easiest day ever. And Janitor Harley said it was the least pukey day he's ever seen. Wait a minute, boys. What's the matter? There's a storm brewing. What kind of storm? <laughs> We're too late! Oh, my, Farkle, right! I am running! I'm just not a good athlete! Save yourselves! We're all about the ball! In 1929, our country fell apart. We've seen things. You don't know, man. You weren't there. They went in as boys. They came out as... I don't know. I don't know what they are now. We... Janitor Harley is a good man. You have no idea what he goes through for you. You may not even notice that he's there, but I promise you this. You would notice if he wasn't there. The clean tables, the immaculate classrooms, the shiny floors, they don't magically happen. They take a ninja. Ninja. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. I got this. No. We got this. Hey, you missed. You know, it's a funny thing about teachers. I appreciate you, baboon. Now get out of here so I can go home. Yeah, okay. What are you doing in here? They're having a lot more fun out there. We're in detention, Janitor Harley. How about that? Little Zippy crossed the line. Maya influenced me. I've noticed that over the years. You do realize the back door is wide open, don't you, little Zippy? We're aware. And yet this group stays in here while the other group is rampaging down the hallway. Well, what do you make of that? I'm sure we'll find out. This lesson has your father written all over it. Uh, you're supposed to lock the front door. Actually, I'm not. It's time to find out what Maya's up to. Goodbye. I agree with Mad Dog, Batman. For me, it was very important for us to be amongst the good. Why? Because even bad kids have good parts. But without the good kids, 
You may never find out what they are. You told us you were one of the bad kids when you were younger. Well, you know, I used to intimidate people, make them see things my way. Did they? For a while. Then what happened? I met a good kid. Well, you seem like such a nice guy. It's hard for me to believe you ever intimidated anything. Oh, yeah? here you watch them like a hawk wait you're with him yeah he's my good kid what do you got everyone went nuts except for zippy why didn't you go nuts zippy i was without maya without maya i don't think i'd ever unfold my hands what about this one here maya was a ringleader maya was the first one out the door hmm. i was without riley Without Riley, I may never come back. Okay. Well, detention over, guys. Everyone out. Except Maya. Dad. Everyone out. So, you were like me. What changed you? Well, it turns out there's always two doors. He showed me the other one. It's good to know there's someone like that around. As you're about to see, we've had our share of election surprises, but America loves an underdog. Matthews, you mind if I stick around for this class? Of course, Harley. You're interested in politics? I'm interested why school budgets are being cut. I'm interested why they take away art and music. Oh, you like music. Without music, I'd do something. <laughs> I know, Harley. I know you would. Hey, you guys! We don't need to be afraid. We can win this thing. We just need to remember the wise words of President F. Dr. Uzevelt, who said, the only thing we have to fear is fear. Wow. <laughs> this looks just like Harley Kiner. Oh, Harley Kiner. Mmm, Harley Kiner. Oh, if I could do my whole life over again, I would give that guy such a what for. <laughs> you do, you look, you look a lot like Harley Kiner. You got, you got like the whole, Whole Harley Kiner head and the whole Harley Kiner face. It says Harley on your shirt. Oh, this is terrible. Uncle Eric is running for senator. Can we count on your vote? I don't know. What are you gonna do for the little guy? Never really thought of you as a little guy, Harley. You know something? I'm sure the school is really well taken care of. <laughs> well, what are you doing? I'm supposed to. <laughs> babies. You kiss babies, you maroon. <sighs> okay, Matthews. You kiss nice. You got my vote. Oh. oh, all right. Well, hey, there's one. Now, how many do we need, robot? Three million. And how many do we have, robot? One. Now, burn me with your lead. The underdog became the third. Thank you. Harley Kiner, head custodian. I'm proud of my school and the environment I help create for my kids. Oh, uh, really? Thank you, my kids. <laughs> my question is, what are you gonna do for the little guy? I have never believed there are little guys. I've always believed that all voters are equal in stature. I already don't believe you. <laughs> Convince me you have a right to lead them. My name is TJ Murphy, Thomas Jonathan Murphy. Eric Matthews once knew me as... Hi, Eric. The best thing Eric ever did for me was one of the hardest decisions he had to make. He gave me up to a wonderful family that raised me and more respect for human beings than I've ever known anyone else to have. You sacrificed himself for the future of a child. You sacrificed the future of children for yourself, Senator. Here's my question. Me? <laughs> yeah, I wanted to say thank you. Why? I left some kind of impression on you? Clear out of here. 
Mr. Matthews told me I had to make a real difficult choice once. I was at a crossroads. I was standing on the corner of Maple Street and Alcatraz. <laughs> How do you make the right decision? I always try and make sure this bench here is polished up and looking nice and inviting for you to sit in. You know why I do that? Why? Because you kids come and go. But this bench stays right here. And all the problems of the universe get decided on it. I respect the nice place where good decisions get made. It's getting a little worn down, a little old as time goes by. But aren't we all? Thanks for saying goodbye to me, Lucas. It means a lot to me. Make good decisions. There's one more thing before you guys go. We wanted to give you guys something from our class to yours. We Friends should always have a place where they can sit and talk and work things out.